Hey guys, welcome to my latest video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I draw and paint a spring daffodil. I'm just using a regular mechanical pencil in my watercolor sketchbook. And I like to start off every drawing I do by breaking everything down into basic shapes. So I've just done a simple line for the stem and a circle for where the daffodil flower will be. And then I've just made a little line and I'm sort of sketching in where the trumpet part of the flower will be. And that's really just a rectangle with a little skinny oval on the end. And then I'm adding in more lines along the end of the trumpet which represent where the main petals meet um, the trumpet. So I'm not actually drawing in the full petal yet, I'm just mapping in kind of the positioning of it and the line indicates kind of the center of where the petal is. And then like you see now, I can then go around those lines and I have my per positioning and perspective added in a little bit. And you can see that that second one I drew in sort of ends with a blunt tip and that's because it's folded over and it's farther away so the um, area that I've drawn is just the area that you can see and that helps with the dimension of the drawing. Just adding in the final petal which is below the trumpet and then I have a kneaded eraser which I like to use because you can get into smaller areas and I'm just refining a few things on the trumpet I like to get the main sort of parts and positioning of a drawing or flower in place and then I go back once everything's put together and refine the final details so it's a lot easier to do that once you have the shape of your drawing or flower and then working on those tiny details rather than doing the tiny details and then realizing you need to erase it because it's positioned wrong. Now I've just started to add in little bits of the stem that are showing from behind the petals there. And now I'm bringing that down and I'm kind of dragging my entire arm to get kind of a straight fluid line. And then just making sure those lines connect up where the petal overlaps. And daffodils have a little kind of papery collar on them. So I've drawn that in and then I drag my hand down again to get the rest of the stem. And now you can see that the flower is starting to come together and I'm going to erase some of those original lines that I made for the circle and um, basic stem line. And now it's coming together and then I'm going to add in some leaves which are pretty easy for daffodils um, because they're just parallel veined um, simple leaves. So again I started with a line for the center vein and now I'm just drawing down a line on both sides for the leaves and depending on the angle of your leaf you might see more of one side and less of another side so I'm looking at those plants that I showed in the beginning of the video in front of me for positioning and inspiration I'm not drawing anything that is exactly the same position but I'm picking areas um, and picking leaves that I want to replicate and then putting it together in its own kind of um, layout in my sketchbook. Now that I've completed my pencil drawing, I'm going to go over it with a technical pen now. Sometimes I leave my drawings pencil and paint over in watercolor and I do that for more of my formal paintings. Um, for a lot of my sketchbook style painting botanicals, I like to ink over in waterproof pen like I am right now. And then I will paint over that in watercolor. 
and I'm just adding in the final leaves here using a light hand to make sure that I um, get those overlaps with the petals and leaves properly and pretty soon it will be ready to paint. So I'm painting this with just some simple water washes, adding in a warm yellow and a cool yellow. So I'm not making this a very complicated painting. I'm definitely not putting in all the details that I see. And I'm working mostly on using cool and warm colors as well as contrast um, and the light shining through the paper to bring this painting to life. And I can also um, add in a little bit of a light red to my yellow mixes to get an orangier color that I can use for the darker areas and the trumpet. Now I'm starting on the stem and some of the papery areas on the daffodils are already the brownish color, others are still a little bit green. This one was green. And now I'm wetting the entire length of the stem and I'm going to add in my green paint on that. And then I'll continue on the rest of the painting doing the same techniques using the same color washes. And I did switch up the greens. Um, quite a bit on the leaves to create more interest and depth and you can use whatever greens you have and experiment with that and I think it's really fun. So that wraps up this video guys. Thanks so much for watching. I post a video every week on Saturday so stay tuned for another video next weekend and do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you try this project I would love to see your recreation on Instagram so tag me at Laura Ashton Artists, hashtag Laura Ashton if you post a project from this video. Thanks so much.